in this sutta called Mata Sutta. Hmm. I've mentioned this many times and I will continue to mention about it. This sutta, Mata. Mata is the Indian word for mother. And in this sutta, the Buddha mentions, we have been going through samsara through beginningless time. Since beginningless time, we have been going through life after life. So long we have been going through that, you cannot find an individual who has never been your mother before, who has never been your father before, your brother before, your sister before. Beautiful message, beautiful teaching. A long time ago, I, I was exposed to Tibetan practices <coughs> In the Tibetan tradition, they have this saying, Precious Mother Sentient Beings. It basically means that uh, to consider all sentient beings as your mother. Of course, you are not my mother. Yeah? But to consider, yeah? it was years later that I come upon Mata Sutta that I realized ah, that teaching came from here, came from this Sutta from the Buddha's own teaching. Because while individually you are not my mother now, in some past life, you must have been my mother before. And to consider this link from the past, and to be filled with gratitude, and to try to ah, serve, try to bring welfare and benefit, to bring happiness to each and every one of <coughs> all sentient beings. And that being the case, then how about those in the hungry ghost realm? Even more so, isn't it? So while maybe our immediate parents and grandparents in this life, maybe they have done good things and they have been reborn as a human being or even in the heavenly realms, or perhaps already in Western pure land. Yeah, but there are still beings in the hungry ghost realm and surely they would have been our mother or father in some distant past lives. We may have forgotten, but let's not forget to have gratitude. Yeah. And so, when you participate <coughs> in these pujas, uh, go with this mindset. Yeah, not thinking, oh yeah, my mother must be suffering there. Mm. Doesn't have to be your immediate mother or father. Yeah, but to consider, whoever is suffering, they were once your mother and to go beyond even hungry ghosts in your day-to-day -day life, those people who are suffering in front of your eyes, they were once your father and mother. So with that mindset, then this practice is not just about the seven months. It's not just about hungry ghosts. Yeah? It's about cultivating this practice of love and compassion for all sentient beings. <coughs> 